all these animated things they rely heavily on keyframing and all the motion that you see is done by keyframing so the basic idea is that artists they sit down and draw some images or some frames in time and the computer can interpolate the rest of them to form a very continuous looking movie so we'll we'll see we'll talk about that in, in more detail very soon so then there is another technique called motion capture so if you want to capture some human motion and if you want to synthesize some motion for your object or for for your virtual character you can capture some motion so there is an actor who can perform some motion and you record it somehow so that you can put it and in, into different uses and then there is a technique uh, or there is a set of techniques for physics based simulation so certain things which are very hard to draw like every every frame in time is uh, for example motion of a falling water or fire or clothes all these things so basically in a movie it is usually 24 frames in one second so if you want to you can already imagine that if you want to generate a movie of say 10 minutes it is already what 600 seconds into uh, uh, times 24 so there are so many frames that you want to generate for a 10 minute movie right so you can't draw everything by hand and even if you draw everything by hand it might not look very real that is why physics based simulation is there that because in nature you have like newton's laws of motion and all those things so you can use that in that in your computer to generate motion for these kind of things and it it gives you a very real effect and you can't tell that it is a computer generated effect or it's a real natural effect so you can also simulate like water smoke like i said then also rigid objects for example uh, your ball falling on the ground or uh, some person falling or some person walking all these things so it is it can also be used for human characters like i said so let's see what keyframing key means so like i said the artist will draw a few keyframes so for example uh, this is a, a little boy carrying a backpack on his back so artist draw like two or three images like this so what he wants to generate a running motion for this little boy and after it draws these things a computer can generate like in between frame so that you can actually see a movie so can you play this movie for me uh, yeah apriyavat uh, can you uh, go to that uh, directory okay and then just minimize this thing okay so minimize minimize this screen and then go to that directory and play that one called 01 gary run cycle dot wmb so uh, in the meantime uh, is there any question so that you know we can uh, answer that question from students so uh, i just want uh, students like any questions you have until like uh, priyavarth is doing that uh, uh, you know movie for you uh, do you have any questions Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, 
Okay, uh, Prevat, uh, can you uh, uh, run that movie? Guys, can, can you see the movie? Well, I'm not hearing anything from Bhavnesh sir. Uh, are you able to hear this? Are, are, you, are you able to see the movie, movie or not? Anybody who has a microphone can tell us? Okay, so, the, so tell me when the movie is finished so that we can we can go on and uh, discuss later. Okay, so now now can you go back to the web uh, the WebEx conferencing console so that you can see our screen? Okay, fine. It is hard to simulate everything by hand. So what they do is they they put an actor in the scene and they put markers on his body. So I, I'll give you an image of what markers mean. So you see a person here in which he has like those shiny markers on, on his body. So this, they put these markers on the actor's body and then the actor performs. And you capture the 3D positions with a lot of cameras. They're like around 10 or 15 cameras around this actor in this scene so that it can capture the exact 3D position of all these small markers. And then you can calculate the character's motion using this. So can you play this? Yeah, can you play this movie 02 mocap.avi? Uh, and tell me when you're done, okay? Okay, Sumit, you can talk something, you know, while you're seeing the movie, if you want to talk anything on that. So, in this movie, you see that uh, uh, an actor is dancing, he's performing a dance sequence, and you see that uh, on the screen, we, so we have, on the screen, you can see that we have an overlaid stick figure and an overlaid virtual character that is kind of performing exactly the same thing. Yeah. And uh, this is this is how a lot of motion, a uh, lot of motion is there. Is I am actually hearing my own voice. Oh, uh, are you giving an echo? A lot of echoes. Yeah. I'm getting a lot of oh, okay. Now it's better. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what the simulation is. 